Hi guys, this is uh, Solid Sevi. Just giving you uh, my opinions on uh, Sony's motion controller that they demoed at um, the E3 conference 2009. Um, firstly, uh, these two guys, this isn't the first time we've seen them, obviously. Uh, we've seen them before, do quite a few tech demos. Uh, and uh, if you search on YouTube, actually, you can probably find a tech demo um, done back in 2004 where they showed off this same controller but a very very uh, basic model of it but anyways my sort of personal opinion obviously Sony is stepping up to the game now and they're uh, looking at the competition they're looking at what uh, Nintendo are doing looking at what uh, Microsoft are doing and I think what um, was quite honest of Sony really was when they spoke up at the conference and they actually said look you know we admit we're not the first for everything but um, we like to think of ourselves as being the best at it and uh, and I think that's what we should take with this I mean uh, you can see from the video uh, it, this is true one to one uh, tracking here you know at sub millimeter level where the uh, you know slight wrist movements are uh, being monitored and being uh, you know displayed on the screen now I know Wii Motion Plus has uh, just been launched as well with uh, Wii Sports Resort now that really should have come out with the uh, launch of uh, Wii but obviously Nintendo realized that you know their motion tracking system isn't the best it isn't accurate and to be honest with you even with the Wii Motion Plus it still doesn't beat the accuracy that can be achieved um, from here now obviously still this is all uh, conjecture because uh, you know the motion Sony motion controller which hasn't been labeled yet isn't out yet neither is Project Natal uh, and uh, Wii Motion Plus as well for that fact so, it, you know, there's still, you know, people that need to do hands-on demos and reviews to see uh, what the controllers are really like. Uh, but one thing first, let me get this straight. Sony guys, anyone with a PS3, please, please, please do not think this is going to come out in spring 2010. I know we would all love these controllers to be out by then, but um, these are just tech demos. And uh, looking at some of the interviews and um, videos on YouTube that were done after E3 no developers have actually come on board and started developing games for this yet I mean the controllers themselves haven't been confirmed yet so uh, just as with um, a lot of stuff that Sony do um, we'll probably expect it late 2010 I think uh, as opposed to spring 2010 and the same with Project Natal as well really um, can't really uh, see that coming out that soon as well um, but I think this is the key thing here and it's quite nice to come on to this point in the video the uh, first person shooter mode that's shown here and uh, I think this is what Sony are trying to do they're trying to say hey look we can get the casual games yeah you know we can do all the Wii Sports all that kind of cool stuff uh, but we can also do the hardcore stuff and uh, get the hardcore gamers in and um, with a switch of the button there we go look at that in first person mode and he's just moving around he's uh, he's getting the accuracy and he's even able to hit that eye toy just tiny on top of that screen look, with that precision uh, and I think this is what you know um, what what we've been looking for yeah there's a lot of you know casual games you can do fair enough um, and you can do them without the controller and with the controller so all fair dues to Project Natal but I think I personally would prefer something in my hand where I can feel the feedback you know, yeah, you can pick up a, a, a hula hoop or, you know, um, some object and make it as a steering wheel for Project Natal. But, you know, you want to feel those bumps when you go over those bumps. Uh, you, you know, you want to feel the vibration. Same with a gun, same with a weapon. Uh, so, you know, that's um, something I think Project Natal needs to work on. The Milo thing, it's just, that's just creepy to be honest with you. I mean, who wants to sit there talking to uh, the television set? and uh, trying to interact that way you want to be you know doing things you want to be moving things around you want to be shooting things you want to be moving through levels and uh, you know it's, I, I just can't see that project uh, that Milo thing working really but fair dues to uh, Microsoft um, they're trying to go out and do this no controller thing fair enough uh, but I think my uh, Sony have got the upper hand here they've got a product that's much more accurate um, and I mean look at this you know they, they, pinpoint accuracy here um, which you couldn't do with um, Project Natal or uh, Wii Motion Plus 
and uh, you know they showed a painting demo for Project Natal and it was just abysmal really uh, and I think at one point um, the guy who uh, was hosting it he was trying to do um, show the bottom off an avatar's foot and the whole avatar just got tangled up because it couldn't track him properly so there's a lot of work Microsoft need to do but I think Sony have just got it right and they need to basically work on this get this out ASAP onto the market um, and uh, and I think they're going to attract the casual and the hardcore. They've already got the hardcore gamers, and yes, they've got casual games on there already. I mean, PS2 had the iToy toy, and that had a ton of casual games on there. Uh, the PS3, I uh, okay, iPad is the new sort of um, game that's coming out, but they've had a ton of games on that as well. Uh, so um, I think uh, this will be the next step for Sony, really. And um, you know, they've shown a whole range of areas where this can be used. It can be used in RPGs, um, you know, strategy games, first person shooters, casual games. So I think Sony are, you know, basically in the money with this. Um, and here's the the example of the the strategy game. Now again, let me stress all I mean even the the, the actual controllers haven't been um, you know confirmed yet so there's going to be quite a bit of wait for this guys so I would wait uh, just be patient don't expect it to be out ASAP like uh, you know the issue was with home just let them take their time let them do what they need to do um, and uh, and release it because I, I don't see Project Natal being out um, that soon anyway but um, you know I'll quickly forward to my favourite part of this actual video which is this um, this demo here with the sword and the shield and the burnout I mean look at that that is precision you couldn't get that on um, the project Milo or, or project Natal sorry keep calling it project Milo uh, and uh, you know even this I mean this is cool and the burnout stuff is just uh, awesome it's just, you know just the way he puts the um, um, his arm behind his back and he pulls out an arrow and that's just sweet, you know. You're not going to get that anywhere else, and it's precision. And then he does gangster style as well uh, on there. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm looking forward to it, as I'm sure many of you are. Uh, but let's just, you know, hold our horses, just not, not get carried away. This is, these are just tech demos that have been shown. Uh, so, um, peace out, guys. Uh, let me know what your views are as well. Uh, post your comments. Cheers. See that. Bye.